But yeah, and the shop music is really good, by the way. Um, most people don't stick around in the shop long enough to hear that part of it, but there's actually like an acoustic guitar that comes in and plays the uh, the riff with it. It's really cool. It's one of my favorites, actually. All right, so this is stage number four, and no, we're not going to get into the boss battle straight away, even though the intro music's playing. Uh, we are going to get to do this uh, slightly annoying train level. Uh, which is a little bit of a pain, because space is kind of cramped, and they throw a lot of actually somewhat tough and annoying enemies at you at once. Now, these bandit guys right here, um, they'll do pretty much what their name would imply. Um, they will steal money from you. They don't actually deal damage, which is convenient, uh, but they are just very annoying, because they knock you down and can steal money. Speed boost thing's helping out, though. Just watch out for the rollerblading chicks, and also watch out for that guy. That guy is really a pain. Again, thankfully, he does this. I mean, it's just, it's really kind of fortunate, actually, when that happens, because you can take out a tough enemy, like, really quickly that way. Stop throwing things, dudes. Alright, I think we uh, might have picked up the judo throw in that one. I didn't quite see what it was. It's either the judo throw or the grab. Um, okay, it was the grab, I think. I um, mean, you can press uh, towards the enemy and square in order to grab them. That will actually help out a lot against enemies who are blocking. And um, can also be good on some of the bosses, too, to get some good damage in. Let's go ahead and take this guy out, because I'm feeling full with him. Ooh, and the guy back there, too. Nice. Right, now, it says go, but there's not really anywhere we can go, so let's grab the money. And that was awfully nice of her to <laughs> give us a way out. So now we're on top of the train, of course. And thankfully, no, this isn't like uh, one of the stages in Super Double Dragon. Uh, for the SNES, where you have to worry about when to push it you back. That would be a pain. I'll just throw this guy off, because I don't feel like messing with him. <laughs> Whew. Ah, oh, crap. I thought I got away. Whew. I actually managed to hit that guy. I was actually just getting ready to block, because I knew he was going to try to hit me. Alright, and like I said before, um, the bandits don't actually deal any damage to you, which is really nice, so um, I would generally recommend just taking out the other guys first. I mean, the money is kind of important, but um, sometimes you can grab it back, so. I got actually a little bit of use out of the metal bat there. Ah. Yeah, they can also knock you out of the air, too, which is kind of annoying. There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> I knew there was a guy coming, but I figured he'd come sooner. Oh, well. At least this works. And we also get a speed boost for this fight, which can be kind of nice. Now you can see we got some ninjas. Uh, these guys, they can be a little bit tough, and I lost the speed boost because I got knocked down, unfortunately. And they can be somewhat tough because they are quick, um, and they're, they actually have an, an annoyingly long reach because of those swords. Uh, they do drop the swords after they die, so if you want to pick those up, you can. Uh, but at this point, like I said, I generally tend to stay away from weapons for the most part. But, see, so you can grab them and use it if you want. Uh, so, unfortunately, our part of the train has crashed and we've ended up here. Watch out for that ninja right off the bat. That one usually gets me, and then, of course, the, the fire guy did. Um, this place is a little interesting. It's kind of hard to pin down exactly what it is. Um, it's kind of a mix between a ninja dojo and a restaurant. I don't know. Just <laughs> just go with it. Now we got some bricks around here. You can not grab these if you want. And see, here's the restaurant part of it again. It's kind of weird. And there's just regular people around here, you know, while we're fighting ninjas and stuff. Oh man. Yeah, and they can combo with that sword too and end up doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, the music for this place is kind of cool though. Whoop. <laughs> Watch out for the rollerblading chicks there. Oh, <laughs> we both got each other. That was kind of cool. Oh, I got hit by something. I think there was like a stool there that I hit and it came back and hit me. And now I got these fat ninja chicks, which uh, really aren't too bad. 
they don't really do a lot unless you get like right next to them, and they generally tend not to block, so um, you really shouldn't have much trouble with them. Except in places like this, where it's kind of a small area. And you will also take damage if you jump into that fire up there, so don't do that. Um, enemies will sometimes just kill themselves with a bow like that. <laughs> so if you can kind of lure them in that direction, it can be somewhat funny. Uh, in fact, <laughs> a decent way to take some guys out while just dealing with the ones that are smart enough. Wow, that guy just jumped into that one for no reason. Alright, got a level up there and also got a heal, which is nice. I was getting somewhat low on health. And uh, the, that move there is like a kind of a double attack, like you can see, it kind of is a double hit thing. I never use that, but um, it's there. <laughs> These guys, are, if they're just going to take themselves out, I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. Alright, well, a couple of them. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay, this guy got around. hit by the stool, I think. And no, unfortunately, the turkey is not a healing item, it is a weapon. And I got hit by the flaming guy. <laughs> Just because I was showing that, pretty much. Yeah, they can be somewhat annoying, but uh, the good news is they only have one HP, and they will oftentimes just kill themselves running into the fire. So for the first while here, I like to just kind of sit and guard, and uh, usually let them take care of themselves, but... Oh, <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I actually got a counter on him. I didn't know you could do that. Alright, oh, there he goes. He took care of him. So I was getting ready to go take care of him, but... Alright, now here we've got a uh, thing where we can break the uh, little wooden logs that come down. If we do this fast enough, it's uh, generally worth it. You don't lose anything like if you if you don't do it, um, but if you do actually do it within the time limit, you get uh, five bucks. So and this is the last one here. Oh, there we go. Oh, actually no, those are with two apiece, so you actually get ten bucks for it. Um, I thought they were just one dollar each. Yeah, block there for a while, just so you don't get hit by the million things. Uh, these ninjas with the fire attacks can be somewhat annoying, so I generally go for them first. The the black ninjas will usually just let you wail on them for the most part. Oh. Yeah, that's the only thing about grab, though, is you want to make sure you're not hitting any directions when you're close to an enemy, if there's, like, one behind you, because it leaves you wide open. Oh, come on, man, that's not cool. Oh man, I was trying to grab him, and he ended up comboing me. Alright, um, let's see, I'm, is there, was there something back here? Okay, no, never mind. Um, there, there's a place you can go here for, um, it's, I think it's a store, actually, that's somewhat hidden that we probably want to check out. Um, crap, yeah, I'll let them get close. Um, you can try to get these guys to fall into the holes. Um, it, they're they're kind of hard to throw into the hole because you have like a lot of throw power, <laughs> so. Uh, but they will just sometimes walk into it and see that one can't get around those statues, so that's nice. Yeah, and I don't know if I've actually mentioned that or not, but with the bigger enemies like that, you can't start out with a weak attack. Um, I'm gonna go up here because this is the store. Actually, it wasn't hidden at all, but. Alright, I don't remember exactly what the best recovery is, but I'm pretty sure I usually go with this. Um, it's only it's worth 40 for 595, so it's a little bit expensive, but um, it's not too bad. And when you need quite a lot of health in a pinch, you know, I mean, you can't get much better. So we're pretty much full up again. <laughs> or we were. Now these little uh, spots on the ground are holes that will open themselves up when you like walk near them. So. Um, you can get the enemies again to fall into them and defeat them instantly. Yeah, see, he's kind of walking around it. He knows what's up. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, they can also teleport away. Thankfully, it's very slow and predictable, though, so it's not too big of a deal. 
All right, now here we can go up into these doors and avoid this section, which is pretty nice, because those little uh, cannonballs can be somewhat annoying. We got another subspace highway, so can't argue with free money. Let's go for the piggy banks, because they go a little faster. All right, and then finish off this coin block here. All right, now I think if we stay up here, we can get a good, uh, yeah, beat on these last few. And you can actually get quite a lot of money from this stage, uh, which is really nice, because you, you can end up buying a ton of upgrades. And we're actually doing pretty good. I mean, I'm somewhat close to max health, and I do have some extra recovery on hand if we run out, which we almost certainly will at some point. These ninjas are <laughs> a little bit annoying. They're somewhat fast. Uh, you can grab them, though. I'm pretty sure I have at some point. Yeah, see, like that. I was lucky to get out of that and guard, though. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, and I like the music for this part, too. Generally, the music in this game is just really, it's good, no matter where you go. Um, you can head back there a bit, but there's really nothing back there, so there's no need. Ugh, man. Uh, they like to do that, too. Just as soon as you enter a new screen, they attack you. It's kind of annoying, because you can just never see it coming. Alright, got a guy on the bridge here. Now, this bridge is interesting. The AI has a lot of trouble with this bridge. As you can see, they're, they're just kind of firing their shots into it. They don't really know what's going on. Then when they all get on this side, I like to move over. Because um, usually only a few will figure out how... Oh, wow, they actually all did. <laughs> but you can kind of use this as sort of protection from those fireballs. So. Finish her off real quick. Oh, that went really well. Yeah, again, guard here, just <laughs> so you're safe from all that. Oh, crap, this is bad. <laughs> I don't have the dodge roll yet either, so yeah, I was just going to have to take a hit there. Oh, wow, they actually... <laughs> I didn't think they'd move back that quick. There we go. Alright, good level up heal there also. That's nice. Alright, that's the dodge roll, actually, we just learned. Um, it was double tap a direction while holding um, circle, which is really nice because if you sit there and block, if you get in a situation like I was in earlier, you can just do this. You're invincible while rolling, and you can just resume your block when you get back up. So it's really, really good. Alright, so obviously we want to go to the uh, subspace highway here, get some more money. These are kind of tough, because they're all on different levels, so... Oh, I actually got all those. I don't believe that. And you can see, we're also we're really racking up the cash. We're up to like 85 bucks, almost. And there's a couple <laughs> coin blocks here. I want that one. <laughs> oh, I probably could have chased after it, but nah, I'm not going to spend that much time on it. So to get to some of these, we're going to have to uh, break some blocks here. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably end up going over 100 bucks here, so that's cool. Maybe not like in this area, but probably before the level's done. Because we will get some from the boss as well. Nope. I'm trouble move maneuvering around these things. Alright, so we're in Ramona's backyard, an adequate setting for our next boss battle, Roxanne Richter, Ramona's fourth evil ex-boyfriend. Yes, it does still say boyfriend, even though she's obviously not. So yeah, there was a good example of using the dodge roll to sort of get behind an attack. Um, now, Roxanne can be somewhat tricky. Good critical there, by the way. I just got 100 damage in on that jump, on that jump kick. Um, she can be somewhat tricky, especially with this attack, as she moves around pretty fast. And uh, it's also unblockable, so... Uh, but generally, she's pretty straightforward. It's a lot like Matthew Patel again. Um, you just kind of have to watch out for some of those attacks, and she can be super quick. And if she catches you off guard, you might be in a little bit of trouble. 
but overall, she's actually a pretty easy boss. I don't know why I picked that up. Oh, nice. Hit her on the way back. Oh, hey, that's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, generally you seem to be safe here on the side because she always attacks in the corners. So, oh, <laughs> I kind of hit myself with that. There we go. Oh, nice. That was an awesome KO. Oh yeah, and she also drops uh, things other than money. I don't know why she drops like pigs and bunnies and stuff, but it's all worth cash for whatever reason. So, man, look at that money—123 bucks. All right, so that clears stage number four. Yeah, you get a ton of cash from this stage. It's a really good one if you want to get money. I mean, you just kind of have to be somewhat careful. Make sure you're good enough to get through it without dying. Alright, so then we go to stage number 5. It kind of made a little loop there. We're getting pretty close to the end, though. It's, it's going to end on stage number 7. Of course, we got a ton of cash, so I'm going to go back and upgrade a couple things. 